Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial number 4, image mapping in HTML. Uh, before starting with image mapping, uh, you know we have to learn how to create the hyperlink effect in an image. Now in the last class we did how to create a hyperlink effect in a text. Now if for example if I have this image in my web page and I want that if I click on any part of this image, uh, you know google.com should open in the same tab or the next tab. So how to achieve that effect so it's pretty similar to what we did in the last class we have to open the anchor tag then we have to write href and then uh, you know I want uh, the destination which is google.com google.co.in so this is my destination I'll copy the destination and I'll paste it over here and then I have a closing anchor tag now between this opening and closing of anchor tag, I used to write some text and that text, uh, you know, it became hyperlink. That means that when I clicked on that text, it took me to the destination website. Now instead of writing some text, I'll insert the image here. So let's say, uh, and uh, then I'll copy the destination of the image. I'll copy the, this then the name of the image and then its extension and now I'll save this so this is my web page so you see this is uh, the image that I inserted in my web page now you can see that this image has been hyperlinked because my cursor appears as a hand now if I move my cursor to the right part of my screen so this part of the screen is not hyperlinked so if I click over here nothing happens but when I move my cursor on this image and I click on this so this takes me to google.com this is how you create hyperlink in an image okay so now moving on to image mapping so I'll give you an example to show what we can achieve with image mapping suppose I have this image with me now I want that if I click on this part of the image it should take me to an image containing uh, you know uh, containing a menu about brews now if I click on this part of the image so it should take me to an image that contains a menu about cakes similarly for this this image when I click on this image so it should take me to a menu containing cold coffees so this is what we achieve through image mapping uh, now for image mapping we require a few things first of all we need a suitable image now what I mean by a suitable image is that the image should have clear cut lines so this is a very good image for uh, uh, you know if we want to generate image mapping because in this mapping you can see all these lines they are clearly marked so you can define a hotspot uh, around these lines so now what is a hotspot now hotspot is uh, basically the area where you uh, where if you click so you are taken to a different part in the same page or to a different page for example if uh, I have this image so I want that when I click around this uh, cup shape so this should take me to a uh, menu containing hot coffee so this area will be called as a hotspot now in image mapping we have three kinds of hotspot rectangular hotspot circular hotspot and uh, polygon hotspot now uh, they are clear by as the name suggests rectangular hotspot is in a rectangular shape circular hotspot is in a circular shape and polygon is any polygon now uh, you know we require coordinates now uh, for rectangular if we are using a, if we are using a rectangular hotspot we need two coordinates first the uh, top left coordinate and the bottom right coordinate and so this will cover the entire area alternatively you can also define the top right and the bottom left coordinates again for a circular coordinate I need the uh, I need the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius so that is enough to uh, define the circular coordinates and for a uh, polygon hotspot I require if I have a n-sided polygon I require the coordinates of all the n edges and I have to define them one after the other now how to find uh, the co coordinates now we can use any image editor and the simplest is paint so uh, you know you just open the Im image in paint now if I move my cursor to the top left part of this bruise so I have my cursor over here and at the bottom left part of the screen I can see the coordinates as 189 comma 177 now if I move my cursor to the bottom right 
again I have the coordinates as 246 comma 260 so this is how you find the coordinates now I'll uh, show you what are the tags that we use for image mapping now first of all I have to insert the image on which I want to create an image map so again I'll use this image source and then uh, I'll be using this image to create an image map so I'll uh, go to its properties and I'll copy the destination followed by the name of the image and the extension and I'll close it now I have this image in my web page so now I want to start with the image mapping so uh, I'll just use a center tag so that this image appears in the center of my screen and then I'll just close the center after this now I want my uh, I want to tell my browser that I am actually creating an image uh, image mapping in this image so uh, I have an attribute called use map and then I have to define a name for that map so you know you can again you can define any name uh, like I'll choose menu as my name so okay I have inserted uh, I have inserted the image and I have also uh, told my browser that I'm actually creating an image map in this image so I'll use this uh, attribute called use map now I will open this uh, I'll, I'll, I'll open this map so this is the tag that is used and then I'll uh, I'll write the name of the map that I defined earlier which was menu so uh, while defining we are using the hashtag and while opening we are not using hashtag this is something that we have done earlier also so now I'm done I've opened this uh, uh, map now now I have to define the area of the shape of the hotspot and the coordinates so uh, this is the tags that I use area shape equals to now I'm using a rectangular hotspot so I'll write rect in if I'm using a circular hotspot I'll write circular and if I'm using a polygon hotspot I will just write poly and then I have to define the coordinates so uh, now I've opened this image in uh, paint again the top left corner the coordinates are let's say 191 comma 177 so I'll simply write simply write them separate by commas now the coordinates of the bottom left bottom right sorry uh, is let's say 245 comma 260 so again I just have to uh, separate them by commas now now I have to de define the href and I'll just write a name let's say bruise so I have uh, I have this uh, I have defined the shape of the hotspot and the coordinates of the hotspot and I have also uh, defined a name for the edge now I have to define now I have to define that where should this this uh, where should this coordinate when I click on these coordinates where should uh, my browser take me to so for that let's say I have this I already have this image so this is a menu about bruise so I want uh, that when I click on this part of the image it should take me to this bruise menu so this is how I'll do it uh, again for that I have to insert this image in my web page so uh, you know uh, I'll just use few break lines over here and uh, let's say I'll define a header uh, as bruise and now I'm inserting the image now as the image was in the same directly I'll, I can simply copy this and instead of main menu the name of the image was bruise so I'm naming it, it as uh, bruise now I'm done. I've, I've inserted this image in my web page. Now, uh, before this bruise, I will uh, I will open the anchor which I defined earlier. Now the name of the anchor was bruise. So I'll just write bruise before this. It may sound a little confusing, but you know once I show you the effect, it, uh, you know it will be very clear. So now again uh, coming back, uh, I'll just explain quickly what I have done. I have first of all I have inserted my main image and then I have defined that I am creating an image map in this image then I have opened the image map then I have defined the shape of the 
hotspot the coordinates of the hotspot that i'll be using and i also have defined the anchor now i want this anchor to take me to um, um, you know just before this bruise app open the anchor so i want this anchor to take me to um, bruise and i'll use another break line over here and then i'll show you the effects i'll save it now i have this image mapping over here you can see in any other part of the image my cursor appears as a normal cursor but when i take it uh, when i uh, you know when when i take my cursor over this uh, bruise section so it changes into a hand that means that this part of the image has been hyperlinked and this has been linked to this text so i'll show you what happens when i click on this image so you see it takes me to this text and because i positioned this text just before the image so uh, consequently i'm also getting that image now if i wanted i could have removed this bruise uh, you know this text as bruise also and in place of this bruise i i now i'll just show you uh, in place of this bruise i'll replace this bruise with the image you know we have uh, we did this in the beginning of, of of our class you know we can also hyperlink an image uh, instead of instead of a text so again i'll save it I'll refresh it. So when I click on this, it again takes me to the it again takes me to the bruise page. So, okay, so this is done now. Again, I uh, where was my name? Uh, my name main image. Now I need the coordinates of all these uh, all these small images. So I already have the coordinates. So I'll just copy them and uh, uh, okay. I'll copy and paste them. So uh, again, I'll tell you uh, what are the things that I've pasted. Now this is something that we already did. We defined the coordinates for the bruise. Now I have defined uh, the coordinates for cold coffee. Again, the coordinates for snacks, cakes, and likewise the coordinates for shakes. Now uh, I have uh, I've inserted the image of bruise, and I also have created an anchor just before this he heading bruise now uh, again i've opened the anchor called cold coffee you see i've defined the anchor cold coffee over here now i've opened the anchor cold coffee and i have the image corresponding to cold coffee similarly uh, i have the anchor for snacks and i have the coordinates for snacks and down here i have the image for snacks and just before this i have defined the anchor so and similarly for cakes and shakes and at the end you have to close the map also this is again uh, so I'll save it and I'll refresh it now you see when I click on bruise it takes me to bruise I'll use more break line tags uh, just a sec okay so now uh, i'm done with all the formatting now when i click on this bruise it takes me to a menu containing bruise now again when i click on cake it takes me to a menu containing cakes now if i click on this cold coffee so it takes me to the cold coffee section if i want uh, for shakes it okay i'm not getting the image for shakes if i want the snacks i'm getting the image for snacks so this is how we create image mapping using an image and this is all in this uh, tutorial and you can again you can subscribe to my channel i'll be posting more tutorials and thanks again for watching